Well, howdy y'all, welcome back to The Social Regressive. This is your enemy, the clamshell, but I'm about to turn it into your friend. This box came from Clamtainer and it is full of all kinds of clamshells that are built to actually work for you instead of against you. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now today is a really windy Oklahoma day, so I'm hoping we don't blow all this stuff across the yard. I guess I'll go uh, send the dogs to track it down if we need to, but take a look at this. These are all clear clamshell products that are designed for actually largely sportsmen. You can check out their website. It's gonna be at clamtainer.com. But what you're looking at right here in this case, this is a 10 millimeter and 40 SNW ammo case. These are three boxes that are designed to hold your ammo and you can actually see what's in there. You can see what bullet you have loaded and it's gonna just fit it really neatly. One of the cool things about using this instead of like your MTM cases, which I use a ton of, I've got a whole bunch of those, love them. Uh, there are some advantages to this in that if you are a hand loader, you can actually write your loads, you can write your recipes and all kinds of stuff in Sharpie on the lids of these. Like I mentioned, you can see what kind of uh, projectile, what kind of bullet you have seated in these. You can quickly see how many you have left in the box. And as far as size and weight goes, it's like it doesn't even exist. This is just barely bigger than the rounds of ammunition themselves, and the weight is negligible. So let's see what other kind of stuff we have in here. Oh, and one thing I should point out, check it out. Made in the USA. I didn't think anything plastic was made in the USA anymore. Uh, these are just some general utility boxes. Uh, these could be great for small parts. Let's see what else we got. Oh, here we go. 300 Win Mag. So this could be a really cool way to keep your ammo out of the elements if you wanna pack these into your hunting bag. It's not gonna fit on your belt or anything, but uh, you can see that it's pretty easy to carry some extra ammo with you. And one thing that these have, you'll notice here, has these little tabs, these little locks. So it should help to hold the ammunition in place when you close this up. So this one looks like it's a 20 round box of ammo. Yep, 20 count. And so you can have all these, and if you're a hand loader, again, you can write your recipes actually on the outside of the box. Here's one for 9mm and 380 ACP. Awesome. AAA batteries. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, these are really cool. They have some battery ones. Now, let's see, this looks like about 223. Oh, no. 38 Special and 357. Oh, cool. All right, this is a 50 round box and you can see that each one of these would be a really slim thing uh, to drop into a pack. This is kind of a longer utility box. This looks like it could probably fit a small section of um, M-Lock attachment, like some kind of Picatinny to M-Lock uh, sort of adapter. 30 cal rounds, so this would be good for your um, your 308s and anything else in that size, 7 millimeter 08, 65 Creedmoor should fit in there pretty well. Ah, here we go. There's 223. You might think these boxes look flimsy, but check this out. This is 10 rounds of 223 loaded uh, into half the box. This is a 20 round box, so it can hold 20. And then we have our ammunition in there. Now let's see if we can knock this loose. Not a chance. Uh, okay, now this is uh, not the easiest thing in the world to open. You really kind of have to dig your finger in there and then you can pop it. Okay, so it's pretty secure. It's gonna stay closed when it's bonking around in your bag or whatever. It's not gonna accidentally open. But yeah, you kind of jam your finger in here, then this opens up. All right, and you can see these little plastic tabs that hold the rounds of ammunition in place. Now let's see if we can slam these open this way. No, they're not coming out. <laughs> That's cool. Now, one thing I should point out for you 350 Legend lovers, there is a shoulder on these, so it doesn't fit. They might have a 350 Legend uh, model right now. I'll put a notation if they do, but uh, they have all kinds of different chamberings. If they have 350 Legend, that'd be really cool. All right, next, let's take a look at this. I have loaded this half with 243 Winchester, and then the back half is Federal XM80 7.62 by uh, 51 millimeter, so 308. And this has the same kind of setup. So I'm gonna dig in here, get this tab, there we go. So there's the ammo. And let's see if we can knock any of these loose. These have more mass, so if anything's gonna do it, it'll be this. 
Oh, we got one. Aha, we got one. We got one of the 308s to knock out. But really, oh, and we have one halfway out. But still, not bad for beating on this thing. These little suckers are pretty tough. <laughs> That's actually really surprising. Here is the double A box. And this one again has those little tabs on the inside, so this is feeling really secure. Each of these pops in, and all you have to do is just jam a finger under one of the batteries to pop it out. It's not gonna rattle. The whole thing doesn't squeak or anything, so it's not gonna make noise if it's in one of your bags. Let's take a listen to this one, if this is knocking around your bag. Just the faintest bit of rattle. So in case you were wondering if these are single use, they are not. It looks like these can put up with quite a bit of use. And now we're starting to get into the weird stuff. Okay, some other little utility boxes. Oh gosh, this stuff just keeps on coming. All right, we've got 45 ACP, some smaller 300 Win Mag. Okay, that's five rounds each. That's kind of cool. So you could drop that into a pocket pretty easily. And this is 12 gauge shotgun. These, uh, from what I've seen in the pictures, uh, they kind of lay every other one. So uh, you have some going this way, some going this way. And uh, yeah, it's gonna handle some of your bigger stuff. Some big utility boxes. And now we get into the really fun stuff. Okay, there's 20 gauge shotgun. And this is the mouse doom box. This is a mouse trap, a better mouse trap, if you will. It has the usual killing mechanism in there, but uh, okay, so the little guy crawls in here, gets snapped, and then you have him in a clear container so you can actually see if it made its kill. And it should help to keep the whatever bait you have uh, kind of out of the elements. So that is pretty rad. Got a couple of these here, and these are ones I haven't tried out yet. Uh, we had some neighbors, uh, a new neighborhood go up near us, and so we haven't actually had any ma uh, mouse problems in our house for a long time. But now here is the coolest thing, and this is the one that I use all the time. I've been using this little sucker for about a year. This is the TP Buddy. This can hold a roll of toilet paper, and actually a pretty fat roll of toilet paper too, and you can see uh, what I'm working with when I go camping now. But uh, this little guy comes with the paracord attached, and this is going to keep your toilet paper dry and safe. And as long as it's not windy like it is today, then I'll just hang it from a tree limb uh, in some conspicuous area. And then anybody that has some kind of emergency can take this and uh, yeah, do their business. I carry these in a backpack. Uh, these go with me when I go camping with the family. This really goes pretty much everywhere that I go. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that you guys got something interesting out of this. Now, some of these you'll probably be seeing on my channel and it might have markings all over the plastic so that I'm reminding myself of what I'm actually working with. Uh, again, you know, what kind of hand load or if it's uh, factory ammo, what, what load it is that I'm dealing with. So yeah, you'll probably see them out there. The one thing that I will mention, uh, one of the biggest differences between the hard MTM cases and these, you know, kind of lightweight ones, of course the MTMs are gonna last longer, but also, uh, here in the Oklahoma sun, we have a big problem. If you're in Texas, Arizona, some place that has really strong sunlight and things get hot, you're going to really warm up your ammo if you leave it sitting out in one of these boxes. So if you know that you're gonna be without any kind of shade, any shelter or anything, pick up one of the like black MTMs and those are gonna keep you happier while you're out at the range so you're not you know spiking pressures on your ammo up. But I think for a lot of the rest of us, if we're dealing with you know more moderate temperatures or if we're shooting out in like undercover or whatever, then I think some of these clear boxes are gonna work out pretty well. And yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna be dropping some of these into my hunting bag in a bit. Sure, it's gonna take up a lot less room than the normal box of ammo. If you're interested in looking at their full catalog, go to clamtainer.com, see if they have anything that might work for you. Uh, I think it's just kind of fun. I'm not getting any kickbacks on this or anything. There's no affiliate links or whatever, but uh, I'll put the link down below if you wanna check it out. Thanks for watching, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. 
Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.